ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 19th day of December. You're getting close to the winter solstice, getting close to Christmas, and uh, about that time of the year where uh, things can be pretty interesting. And boy, they are, around the nation at least. Let's go right to the Skycam network around here and it's another drizzly, muggy, mild December morning. Temperatures uh, around 60 with drizzle and dense fog in spots. That's the view coming from Clanton down in uh, Chilton County looking at the Clanton City Hall. The Birmingham Sky Cam, low clouds hanging over the city. Familiar sight. We've seen that all week long. And from uh, Tuscaloosa, that is looking north from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse out over the Hugh Thomas Bridge connecting downtown Tuscaloosa and downtown Northport. Yikes, what a storm up north. That thing's a big one with uh, snow, ice, thunder snow, thunder ice. A uh, very dynamic storm affecting the Great Lakes and the upper Midwest. But it's all passing north of here. We can be thankful for that because that is an ugly one up there. You can see temperatures are brutally cold over much of Canada. And uh, that will be moving south again in coming days. And we will feel it this time on Sunday. There's our watch warning map this morning. Winter weather advisories blanket the northern half of the United States. Some of the most significant issues are uh, through uh, Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana with snow and ice. The uh, dark blue, that's an ice storm warning for areas just south of Chicago. And, uh, of course, down here, we're in good shape. Nothing happening but the fog this morning. There's a look at the snow outlook today if you're traveling. Heaviest snow from Milwaukee to Boston. And also some pretty good snow out west in the mountains. And uh, the ice outlook today from near Chicago to Philadelphia. Could be some pretty nasty icing just south of that snow belt. And the overall precipitation for the next five days, valid through Tuesday evening of next week at 6 o'clock. Uh, pretty good uh, precipitation to the north of us. Heaviest rain here over the Tennessee Valley and the Mount's Taper off as you go down to the south. Here's the 06Z GFS, the global forecast system. Valid at uh, noon today. Warm Ridge nosing in from the south. And uh, the Arctic boundary is north of us, and that's where the big storm is formed. The uh, surface low today at midday should be uh, somewhere near Pittsburgh. Heavy snow uh, continues around that with the rain showers down to the south. But again, around here, a lot like yesterday. Cloudy, very mild, downright warm, if you will. And any shower should be very isolated. Tomorrow, same deal. The better chance of showers north of Birmingham. And even there, they will be scattered. And here comes that new 1,040 millibar high crossing the Canadian border Sunday. A trough begins to form over the east, uh, knocking down that warm ridge. And uh, down below that, that's a pretty good-looking cold front coming through here. Looks like a Saturday night into Sunday morning. Maybe some good rain, one half inch or more, and Sunday will be a day of CAA. And in the weather business, that stands for cold air advection. And uh, that could be a day where we start in the 50s, wind up in the 40s, maybe even in the 30s, especially north of Birmingham with a very icy north wind. It's going to turn cold. And uh, Monday will be sunny. Nice to see the sun back, but cold. We think we'll be close to 20 now Monday morning, the high in the low 40s. Uh, a big slap in the face compared to the recent warmth. But on Tuesday, we moderate quickly. Uh, in this kind of upper air pattern, the cold air shots will not last long. We'll start to warm up. Clouds will likely increase. And Wednesday, Christmas Eve, nice look at shortwave just northwest of here. And that's suggesting a pretty good rain event. And all of a sudden now, the model is slowing this thing down again. Uh, after seeing a few runs with a better chance Tuesday night, now it's back in the, on the table really Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday night. So somewhere right before Christmas, we ought to see a good rain uh, Tuesday night or Wednesday, maybe up to one inch with that. And then Christmas Day looks very uneventful, which is good. Uh, we need a nice uneventful day in the weather office. Uh, that would suggest seasonal conditions. Actually, this run looking a little warmer, that would suggest a high close to 60 after a morning low down in the 30s. Uh, but again, that's not too far from average values for this time of the year. And then the following Friday, the 26th, that looks pretty quiet there. But look at the end of the cycle. Look what's back. Yeah, an eastern trough. Now, the, the western ridge is not really pumped up there to tap the true Arctic air, if this is right. And that's a big if. And understand, every run has looked different out here because it's struggling with a pattern change. But 
Uh, again, the, the idea of an eastern trough and colder air is certainly there. A uh, big cold front coming through, much colder air. And we'll see. Again, there's just some suggestion we'll break out of this warmer pattern back into a colder pattern with a negative NAO in an eastern trough come early January. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.